Hello Sagittarius Inkles and welcome to your general reading with the Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this reading is going to be for the Sagittarius Singles Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the first half of September 2019. Sag, I hope all is well with you guys. I want you guys as I shuffle, Holy Spirit show me the energy for Sagittarius Singles for the first half of September. Holy Spirit, thank you. Sagittarius, I want you guys to keep in mind that everything in this reading may not apply to you because it is just a general reading. And with this being a general energy, general reading, not everyone's particular story is going to be picked up on. But I do invite you to listen to this with an open mind. Realize that certain parts of this can go vice versa. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> get into it oh wait a minute for those of you who are interested in a personal reading you can head over to my website angelicascensionstarot.com this sale is still ongoing the sale entails half price on a 30 or 60 minute live phone reading session with me um, my pre-recorded is out of stock right now but if you are interested in a pre-recorded simply email me and let me know which one um, and join me on my meet and greet Saturday September 14th in Santa Barbara. Um, I will give more details as the date approaches. Let's get into it. That's why you came here, right? Let's get the message for the Sag singles. Sagittarius. I feel that there's someone that you're thinking about that might be far away from you right now. Um, I feel like there is some distance that separates the two of you right now. And I feel like there could be a situation in your life, whether or not it's related to love, where you're feeling discouraged. Um, I do feel that you're going to close the door on something and start something new, start fresh somewhere. Possibly this, this situation could have something to do with a Scorpio. Central overall energy of your reading is ruminate. Okay, so I feel like you're really constantly in your head thinking about something um, that's very important to you. The challenge to your situation is it has to do with your darkest fears. So there's something here that you fear, Sag, and this whatever this is that is that, that is causing you fear is bringing out a lot of emotion that you're possibly trying to suppress and push down. Because I feel like Sag is something that's really in your heart that you're really focused on and really thinking about, but it's like you're saying, I don't want to face that right now. I don't have time to deal with that. I feel that there could be some silence between you and someone that you care about. It could even be your child's edge. And your child could possibly be a Leo, a Virgo, um, uh, or a Libra or a Scorpio. Or the autumn time could just be very significant for you. Also, this upcoming autumn season could be very significant for you. There is a union that you once had with someone. Sagittarius, I almost called you guys Scorpio. And I do feel that there was a con man or some type of deception. There's a hustler involved in this situation. If, if this wasn't literal, then you feel like someone hustled you out of your time, hustled you out of your better judgment, could even be some money. Someone could have stolen from something from you. You could be the one stealing Sag, but we'll see. Remember, it's a general reading. Like I said, it can go vice versa. I don't think I said that. Yes, I did. It can go vice versa. I see that some of you are moving. So this could be an ideal time for you to move. You could be thinking about moving. But I feel that there's something here on the past that you're dwelling on. So if you could have an upcoming review on your job that you're thinking about. But I feel that you are thinking about a relationship that kind of led to nowhere. I do feel like there's a solid foundation that you're focused on setting for yourself. But there's definitely some fear about starting a dream of yours. And um, yeah, you're trying to set a concrete, solid foundation for yourself. Okay, I feel like you're the prosperity wise, whether this has to do with finances, health, 
uh, wealth, oh, we already said finances, time, loving relationships. I do feel like this is going to be a very flourishing time for you. Um, and I feel that the things that you've been praying for and asking for, Sag, that they are coming to fruition. And that everything is playing out according to your highest good. It may not play out exactly as you had hoped, but something is going to play out for your highest good. Some of you could be working on a new project. If not, then I feel that there's a project on your heart that you are going to um, begin working on. I feel like there's something here that you're starting. Like I said, you're closing one chapter, beginning a new one. <sighs> So I feel like something here is going to cause you to get motivated. But something here is at a standstill, Sag, and you feel like you're living from moment to moment with regard to whatever this situation is. Um, I do feel that... <laughs> someone in your situation could be depressed. This could even be you, Sag. Are you feeling um, not motivated to do something? I do feel that there is a choice that you're going to make about something. <laughs> but I hate to sound like a broken record, but I feel like there's, like I said, a hustler, a thief, a liar somewhere in the situation. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Sag. I feel that you already know that, though. I feel like you already see the snakes in the grass. Um... See that? That's what I mean. I feel that there is some type of depression in the situation because I feel like you're, you're feeling, you're, it's like you're unkempt. It's like you're not worried about your appearance right now because I feel that, yeah, the mental health, mentally, something is dragging you down. Maybe you are regretting having made choices that you made in the past, Sagittarius, and I definitely see that someone broke your heart and you're saying it's not my fault, it's theirs. Some of you are really focused on your phone. You're constantly in your phone looking for something. Um, yeah, you're looking for some type of advice. You're looking for and to ask an expert. So yeah, some of you could definitely, that could be why you're in your phone, looking for picking up clues um, through tarot, tarot videos. You're feeling confused. That's why you're looking through tarot videos. You're, you're trying to figure out your life, your next move. Right? Like I said, you're living from moment to moment. Maybe for some of you, paycheck to paycheck, and you just want some answers about how to make your moves. Um, I feel like some of you could be slacking on sleep, and I do feel that there's someone in this scenario. Air Let's call you guys Aries. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. You feel you're wonder you're waiting for someone to drop their ego, or perhaps this could be you. And now I feel like you're trying to pull it together, especially emotionally, because I feel like you are taking a trip. Maybe you're taking a trip to meet someone, to run in to someone. Be careful about your car. Okay, I feel like your car is going to be very significant to your situation, Sagittarius. I feel like you're really taking really good care of your car, focused on your car, but I feel like there's money regarding a car that you're considering or that you're concerned about. Uh, some of you could be on this really strict diet because I feel like some of you are body conscious. You might feel like you're falling, like you have no control over the situation in your life. Some of you are really focused on a child, okay? but I do feel like there's a measure of sadness and sorrow that you're feeling about something i'm seeing birds so i feel the birds of a feather flock together i feel like you could be working with like-minded people be careful because not everyone in your circle has good intentions because i see politics let's get into it let's get some details sagittarius what's going on here i feel like there's going to be an opportunity for you to open your heart Someone that maybe you are silent from, that you are estranged from, wants to come back and participate in your life. I feel that this could even be your own mother, Sagittarius. There's a situation that ended, Sag, that you didn't want to see come to an end. Separated from, like I said, your mom, our mother figure. infidelity I see cheating I see someone that you had a very strong 
magnet you're drawn to this person because of their magnetism and i feel that there's someone here that you want to reunite with this could be the person that you're ruminating over or you're ruminating over some type of a situation I feel that there has been a standstill, as I stated to you before, but I'm also feeling that um, uh, I'm seeing an elder, so this has to be like a mother, your mother, whomever, okay? But I do see an elder. I feel like there's something here that you are seeking clarity on. You want the truth about something. You want to know how someone feels. But remember, what's uh, the challenge in the situation is darkest fears, your darkest fears. Maybe... I don't know what you're afraid of. Okay, so you're returning to someone or you're waiting for someone to return to you. So I do feel like, yes, you are intentionally wanting to reunite with someone, maybe driving to go and see someone. But I feel that someone's intentions are not good in this situation. That could be what your darkest fears are, that someone is coming with ill intention. You might be feeling distracted at your job. We're not talking about job yet. Okay, we're going to go into your job in a moment. But yeah, um, I do feel that you miss someone. You're feeling disappointed about something that may or may not have played out in the past. Mm. Let's see. Your perception of a situation is off. Did you have a misunderstanding? It looks like you no longer speak to someone. And this could be a family member. And I feel like there are definitely issues with trust. And with regard to us, to whatever this situation was, I do feel that it may have brought out the worst in someone. Someone may have acted out of character, or this could be something that's upcoming. But I do feel sad that there's someone coming toward you to make amends, or maybe you're going to work toward this person. You're not expecting things to go very well. I feel like someone is up to their own trick, their same tricks. I feel like, yeah, you're uninspired. You feel like someone here in your life isn't taking the initiative to work on things. Something here in the past just didn't work out. And you felt that it was best for you to be on your way and to leave a situation. But I do strongly feel that you could be taking some type of a road trip, possibly, to go and see someone. But you're not sure how that's going to work out. You're feeling confused and uncertain about things. Okay, I do feel... Sag, that you want a reconciliation with someone, but it's like you, you don't think that it's going to work out. You doubt it, but you're going to, it looks, but why? Oh, because they're not taking the initiative. You're going to do it because you want to get something off your mind. The thing that you're ruminating about, you're really constantly thinking about something, playing something over and over in your head, a scenario. And it has to do with about a perception perception of someone you're assuming that you know how someone feels about you but i feel like you just want to know the truth so there's going to be a conversation that may, i feel like you're going to try to catch somebody off guard that they don't expect that you're going to show up to see them i feel that there's someone this is someone that you love or enamored by or that you admire and um i feel that there's some type of an apology that you're giving to to your mother okay for some of you this could be your child's mother someone that you co-parent children with a colleague of yours whomever this is okay there's someone here that I, I do feel that you admire this could be someone that absolutely admires you um so I still call you Scorpio I know I mentioned Scorpio before but you're a bit reluctant to do this to follow through but so I think this is something more so that you're thinking about I don't feel that necessarily you're acting on this right now but this could be something that you're thinking about um, you're thinking about approaching someone um, having regrets about the past and the way that things ended and I feel that there is a situation that you want to heal because you haven't moved on from either this person or the situation because it remains on your mind. And yeah, it's it's uh, I'm seeing that you want to come out of this place of being disconnected from someone. You definitely disconnected from someone's energy. You decided I need some time to myself. Okay, but now that you've had some time to take survey and inventory of the situation, you're saying, I think I want to approach this again. I want to see how you feel if the two of us can come to some type of an agreement and let bygones be bygones. Oh. 
could be a Cancerian. Yeah. Enlightenment. This could be someone that's very enlightened. Someone very spiritual. And this is someone that you want to clear the air with about some past arguments, some past beef that the two of you had. And it had to do with some type of shady business or politics. And what I mean by politics is, you know, funny business. Someone here had bad intentions. So yeah, you may get an apology from this person, Sag, or maybe you're going toward them to give them an apology. This could be a family member. Some of you um, are concerned about money for a house or, or for a job, uh, for a car. Okay. <sighs> high speed. So I feel like you're moving at a high rate of speed. Like you're hasty to do something. Be careful of your speed. Be careful of, because I'm saying you're moving quickly, hastily. Be careful of your speed. Be careful of, make sure that you obey the traffic laws. Make sure that your tags are renewed. You dot your I's, cross your T's when it comes to traveling. <sighs> are you worried about the paint on your car? I don't know. Something about the exterior of your car. Somebody key your car, something like that. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're paying them a visit. I don't know. To discuss that. But I feel like it's deeper than that. Okay, I feel that there is some type of truth that's going to be revealed in the situation. Some honesty that's going to come of this situation. Um, the darkest fear that you might be having is having to open your heart and let go of, unleash some feelings that you've been suppressing. Mm, maybe you're sending a message to someone and now you're waiting patiently to hear from them. Um, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at um, your job and then we'll take a look at the cross watcher for your situation. Holy Spirit, show me please the SAG at work. Yeah, see, remember I was saying someone's moving in haste? <laughs> you might want to wait, okay, because I feel like there's something here that you want to get off your off your back. I see an Aquarius or a Gemini. That's significant to your situation. Okay, friendliness. I feel that there's going to be some friendliness restored. Or that there was someone that posed themselves as being friendly and having good intentions. But like I said, I see a hustler, a thief, and a liar. All in the same person. So I feel like you're going to see the snakes in the grass. Are you entertaining some type of relationship on the job? Some of you could be having a third party situation. Uh, or you could be interested in dating someone on your job. And maybe you want to keep that secret. Hmm. So yeah, that is what it is. You are interested in having some type of romance. Maybe you want to ask this person out. Um, you're wondering if they're going to say yes. You're trying to let go of maybe some type of expectation because you're constantly thinking about something in your head. What happened last year? Last autumn. Something significant happened last autumn season. In this situation yeah you definitely have something to say something that you've been holding back saying and you're trying to remain positive as you approach this person um, what is this something better okay so I do feel that maybe you left someone to be with someone else someone in this scenario feels betrayed okay so I do feel that there are people that are watching you, genuinely interested in what it is that you that what it is that you are doing. But I feel that there is someone watching for bad intentions, maybe trying to figure something out. I feel like you're gonna change your focus. Something has caused you to change your focus. Okay, so maybe there's some type of a new project, as I stated to you before, that you're working on. Something that's been at a standstill and you're wanting to make a choice. There's some type of barrier in your way, but you definitely want to get clear maybe about your career path. 
I'm saying someone is, is blaming the other one, saying that this person is to blame, this is the burden. Someone is treating someone as the scapegoat in a situation, saying it's your fault, not mine. This is weird. This is unusual. But there's somebody shady, I'm telling you. You're wanting someone to embrace you with open arms, or maybe this is a new career direction you're wanting to take. Um, maybe you are going to meet someone and you're hoping for an embrace. Definitely looks like you're leaving wherever you are, where you, wherever you are currently, and making a trip or starting fresh some someplace. But there has been some type of deception or funny business with this person with regard to your work. There's some money that someone owes you some credit that someone owes you, a poor investment that you have made in a situation, and maybe that's why you're thinking about leaving your current job. I see a partner coming in for you, a partnership or some type of collaboration, and you're wanting to make a choice about whether or not to approach someone is what I'm seeing. It has to do with the way that you perceive something, perception, a perception of you. Someone sees you as a thief, a hustler, a stealer, or a liar. And yeah, you're trying to get that person to change their mind about you. They do see you as the Seven of Swords, but why? I guess you know why. Okay. Let's see. I see a Sagittarius. And um, there's a situation where you haven't moved on. A situation that you haven't moved on from. I do feel sad that you want to set the record straight and start over with someone and maybe get them to see, open their mind about something because I feel that someone has is very what narrow-minded in the way that they think. They only see one possible scenario um, or one possible reason why something may have happened. And I do feel that there was a measure of disappointment that played out. Um, and I'm also feeling that you're wanting to do something that's pas that you're passionate about. And you might be... It looks like something's coming to an end. I hope this makes sense to someone. Someone's hurt, disappointed. Some of you could be injured on the job. There's an employment change, absolutely. So you are walking away and starting fresh elsewhere. Possibly starting your own business. And it looks like you're very enthusiastic about what the, whatever this is that you're going toward, this employment change. And it looks like you're going to take a divinely guided chance. And whatever this competition was, I feel like you're going to put that to an end and partner with someone rather than trying to I see cooperation instead of competition in a situation. I feel this is what I mean, especially those of you who are traveling for your job. Pay attention, block out distractions because I'm seeing... Mm, huh, I would just put it that way. Block out distractions. Make sure that you're safe. Your safety comes first. Yeah, some of you could definitely be enjoying the scenery around you. You could be going out in nature. And I do see a raise or promotion coming in for you with you leaving something and starting something new. Some of you are leaving your present position and maybe um, getting a promotion. Some of you could just be leaving, period all together and like I said starting elsewhere and money is flowing in for you make sure to save and put away money for this new endeavor and um, there's some type of guilt that you might be holding on to maybe it's because you feel that you owe someone something because I'm seeing some type of debt that you feel like you're indebted to someone maybe this is financial debt could be emotional debt that you have um, but I do see that you will be clearing that or that you will have an opportunity to. And this is going to be beneficial for you to declutter your space, declutter your mind, and stay focused. That's what I'm hearing. Absolutely, stay focused. Yeah, you're realizing that there is something better and that you're wanting to do something different and that you're trying to remain positive and make positive steps toward what it is that you want to do. Right? You're taking assertive action and you are possibly letting go of whatever this was that was holding you back, okay? And you're saying yes. When the universe is saying it's time to move, you, you're agreeing and you're saying yes, I'm gonna go ahead and follow that calling, okay? 
I do see romance coming in for you, whether this has to do with work or otherwise, but I do feel that you are going toward your dream. You're changing your focus. You might be doing something completely altogether different from what it is that you currently did do in the past. And as I stated to you, some of you have a review coming up on your job. Some of you could be getting some type of a bonus or um, a promotion. Do you see that some opportunity may open up or this is you opening up to someone that you've been closed off to? And you're trying to make a decision about whether or not this is the right time to approach someone and get something off your heart. Um, you're waiting, okay, on the 7th, August. So, yeah, you could be traveling right now, but I do feel that you're going to put toward dedicated effort to doing something and I do feel that there's something here that is coming into formation something that has been at a standstill and now you're going to put things in motion to get something started let's get to the juicy part let's take a look at how your cross watcher is feeling at this time cross watcher for the Sag single sun moon rising and Venus signs for the first half of September. Why am I so tempted to say it? August. Okay. I am taping this in August. Sag, cross watcher, sun, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Your soulmate is your cross watcher, likely, for some of you. It is a general reading. Um, your cross watcher has kind of chalked things up to it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. I see things for what they really are. I'm not going to really dwell on this situation any longer. Um, there was some type of misunderstanding that may have taken place between the two of you. I do see guilt, whether you have a measure of guilt towards something, Sag, or whether they feel guilty toward the way that they acted toward you. Someone feels that they acted in haste and maybe said something because they were angry or what have you. Um, and yeah, they made a hasty judgment about you. And now they're feeling confused and uncertain about how this is really going to go. They're trying to release something. You want them to release that perception about you. And I feel that there's an opportunity here for forgiveness to take place. So there could be a trip that's being taken. And um, I feel that there could have been an offer here that was passed up. Someone said no, and now they're saying yes in the past. And I feel that this is possibly a happy reunion between the two of you. Some of you are waiting for a loan. If this person um, owes you money. I see money coming, coming to you, money being paid to you. Um, yeah, I, I do feel that, that there is some type of partnership coming in for the two of you, or at least making amends about the past. And telling the truth that you didn't want this situation to end. But why is the Seven of Swords here? It keeps coming up. This is the third time Seven of Swords popped up. Ah, Seven of Swords clarifies the Seven of Swords. Somebody's full of BS. And that's what they're going to apologize about, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this person is fake. This is either how you perceive them, Sag, okay? Keep this in mind. This is either how you perceive them, and you might get the truth about them. That might be the truth that you get, right? That they're up to no good. Or this is how, you, this is how you're seeing the situation, okay? You're having to make a decision, a choice about whether to stay where you are or to move forward with this person, And I feel here that you're stressed because of how the way that something ended. You're afraid to trust your intuition with regard to the situation. But I do feel that someone has is coming toward you with some type of truth to tell. Um, but you're not sure if you want to fully invest and give your all in this situation. Especially since someone here is blocked. Someone's trying to find the courage to come toward you. And I do feel that they are coming toward you to give you a message to speak to you or to apologize to you after something fell apart. Okay, and after there's been some type of estrangement, I do see two people coming back together. And yeah, 
But someone here is definitely fearing the worst. They're fearing that you're going to be the same old person that they've always seen you to be. But I feel that there is an argument that could potentially be settled between the two of you. And I feel that there is love still there. So whether this is a friend, whomever, um, there are still trust issues. Because someone sees you as not being the dependable type. Someone that runs from commitment or runs from what if, whether this was a, a relationship commitment, a financial commitment, whatever it was. Some type of promise here. An unspoken promise even. But I do feel that you're going to reunite with someone and... Someone's going to apologize for the way that they hurt you. But I feel that someone expects the other one to act out of character. I get that for both of you guys. So I felt, feel that the two of you could be mending some type of a bridge here. And I feel that there's clarity that you may get. Maybe even some apologies. Letting go of old hard feelings. Some bad blood between the two of you. And I'm seeing potentially some growth. All right, the two of you may grow together or grow from this experience and move forward and get back on friendly terms. <sighs> okay. On to the advice for the Saggy single sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Sagittarius. Some of you are detoxing. You might be detoxing from people. And it might even have something to do with a strict diet that you're on. Yeah, bodies of water. I do feel that you guys are traveling. If you do, stop by the water. <laughs> oh, spend time near the water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Yikes. Um, oh. Let's see. For Sagittarius, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Sag, and what are you worried about? What are you really worried about? Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. You have a bright future ahead of you, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel the need to pull a few more of these. Hold on a quick second. Codependency, yeah. You might be dealing with someone who has addictions. But they, they've learned from the past. I do feel that there's a healing about whatever this whole situation was about. It doesn't even have to be addictions to drugs or alcohol. Though it very well could be because we're talking about detoxification. Whatever this person is codependent on, upon. Yeah, you walked away because you decided to love yourself first. But I feel that this is your soulmate. You're calling them back in. Absolutely. You might be tempted to run away when you, when you start to, I don't know, approach them or whatever this is. But... Either way, I feel that there's someone here that you're going to make amends with. Sag. So this concludes your general reading for the first half of September 2019. I wish you guys the best. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my meet and greet is September 14th in Santa Barbara, California. Um, and yes, my sale is still ongoing. Check out my website for the half price sale that will still continue to go on throughout um, summer season. Take good care, Sagittarius.